the you finished up. Yeah. Did you ask COVID about all that stuff? Yes. Two I stars. Mm -hmm. There's none. Wait, wait, wait. Two stars on this. For for the uh, depression study. No. None so far in the study. To ask again, I asked an, a, a different kind of adverse okay. event question. Make sure, make sure, okay? Because okay. uh, when you are in the field, if mm -hmm. you're gonna be CRA or yeah. when you are, if you still want to after this week, mm -hmm. um, you don't want to leave the site without getting all the info. Because sometimes if you try to reach out to the site later because mm -hmm. you forgot something, you're not gonna get a response. Oh, so okay. you like. If I'm your line manager and I was like, hey, Cecilia, mm -hmm. um, you know, why were there no SUSARs filed? Then you need to know the answer okay. as to why. Now, me as a line manager, I'll know in the trial master file if there's SUSARs in there. Okay. But let's say there were, but then the site didn't have any in their rec binder. You know, you would have to find out why. Like, those, just, there's always a little detail. Okay. So you got to find out. Okay. okay. Um, so then as far as the closeout, you did that after? Yeah. And how long you spent on that? About one and a half hours. Okay. So what was the hardest part or if you, if you had any findings? I did not see any protocol violations or deviations. Does that mean there were none? Mm, no, not necessarily. Oh. Was there a log? For deviations, no. Okay, so that's very good. You want to see at closeout if there were any deviations that are still, I guess, not reported. Mm -hmm. Another thing you want to make sure is that um, any SAE mm -hmm. or even AE, mm -hmm. are they resolved? Okay, or are they still ongoing? There because this is the last touch point really with the site. I mean, we have some studies where they ask us even after it's closed okay. to follow up on SAEs. Mm -hmm. But technically, the site doesn't have to do that with the sponsor. The study's closed. Okay. And if this patient is not a patient of the PI, mm -hmm. you know, most likely the SAE is being resolved with, uh, with the primary physician of mm -hmm. the patient. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the site's not going to know. We have a monitor asking us right now. Yeah about a study that's closed out. I think it's for this study, actually. Yeah. So yeah, there is an SAE. So in the report, you'll see, are all SAEs resolved, unresolved, something like that, right? Yeah, because I saw only, I did not see any SAEs recorded, only AEs were recorded. Okay, only AEs. Yeah. Were all the AEs have it end dates? Because uh, each subject binder has an adverse event log. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I went through, but the day I did not take note of the end date. Yeah, you got you got to know, especially for SAEs. Okay. For regular AEs, they probably already know that from the database lock. Okay. You know what's a database lock in mm -hmm. the ABC, so yeah. they probably have those resolved. But you want to make sure in the log that it matches with the what's ABC. in the EDC. Yeah. So the AEs either gonna be resolved or ongoing, also, right? Okay. So that's important. Then you, pr what we talked about yesterday was the IRB closeout. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Closeout report and letter from the IRB. I think, yeah, I saw that. You saw both? I saw a letter, um, was it approving closeout? I can't remember how it was worded, but it was approving the closeout oh, okay. of the site. So it's probably a letter from the IRB. So that's good. You want to make sure that that is done while you're on site for that closeout. Okay. Then you want, what do you do with the, did you check the delegation log? Yes. And everybody, end date. Did you say end date? Yeah. No, I did not check end date on that one. Aha, uh -huh. you gotta know. What if nobody put end date? You're supposed to put an end date at the, the PI is supposed to put an end date at the closeout visit. Okay. First of all, the PI needs to put an end date anytime a staff no longer is at the site. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna may have some end dates already, mm -hmm. but at closeout, everyone else, including the PI, gets an end date by their name, and then the PI has to initial on date 
each Wait, box, each right? Mm -hmm. This is how the logs are. So this is the initials, start date, end date, PI initials, PI signature on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And same thing with, um, I think with the training log, no, delegation log, yeah, on the bottom. Did you see this? In I know the, I saw a table, the del log table with lots of signatures and all that, mm -hmm. but I did not check that end date. I didn't think to check that. Yeah, so usually this PI will sign and date it at the closeout. Okay. Okay. Delegation log. Okay. Um, as far as regulatory is concerned, mm -hmm. That's uh, really, these are the two big things you're worried about. Well, three with the SUSAR, so you're making sure that they're all uh, there. Okay, every SUSAR has been acknowledged by the PI. Mm -hmm. I so saw those. You'll usually get a list, so you'll know, like, and each SUSAR has a number. So you'll just literally go through all that and make sure that they're all in the right binary, they're acknowledged. Um, what I saw was like letters uh, from maybe pat, uh, previous studies or studies elsewhere. About some patient that yeah. went through that was, was a Okay. Su suspected unexpected serious adverse Suspect reaction. reaction yeah. so that's important, especially in a st some studies with the I IP that triggers a lot of SUSARs. Mm -hmm. they, they could be a lot of of those uh, SUSAR letters that the PI needs to okay. sign and acknowledge. Often, what happens is none of them are printed out. If the site has to print them out on a portal. Mm -hmm rather than them being mailed. They used to just be mailed. Mm -hmm. So now, most of the time you log into a portal oh and have God. to print them, and then the PI has to sign them. Very common is that you're not gonna see any, and you're gonna have to tell the coordinator to go print them all out. Mm -hmm. okay. And then the PI needs to sign them, and then you need to like put in your report, okay. which are missing. Maybe some are missing. So maybe then you have to tell the coordinator to print those out that are missing. Okay. Maybe they just missed a few, okay. right? So that's very common. Uh, with training log, you don't need to do anything at closeout, so you don't need to worry about training log. You don't need to worry about financial disclosure, okay. assuming that they're all there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. If they're not there, then that's a problem. Then you want to make sure they're there at least before the site's closed out. But this is assuming they are there because the monitor should have done their job between the SIV and the closed out to have financial disclosures. Um, archive is a big one, okay, archiving. Where is the site going to store their study records after the study's over? What I see. They don't just send it back, they have to keep it, usually five, 10, years. even longer, years. Okay. So you as the CRA have to put in your report, it's mm -hmm. probably in there too in your report, mm -hmm. where is the site keeping their archives okay. for this study. And you could look at their SOP. What's the SOP for archiving? Is it Iron Mountain? Usually it's Iron Mountain. Website, okay. Yeah, Iron Mountain's like this vendor where you just send everything to them. Okay. And, and they'll store it. it. Okay. And they'll be able to retrieve when you need it. Okay. Or is are they storing it on site? Okay. You need to know and you need to get the address. If it's Iron Mountain or if it's off-site location, you need to get the address okay. for where they're storing that stuff. Another thing is the IP and the lab kits. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the site SOP on lab kits? Do they destroy them? You need to make sure okay. what's going on. You need to document in your report. Okay. IP. Sometimes the sponsor wants the IP sent back to them. So then the CRA will literally package it and send it back. Okay. Oftentimes the sponsor wants the site to destroy the IP. So then again, SOP. What's your SOP for IP destruction? Okay. You need to know, you need to get copies of those too. Okay. Copy of the SOP for archive, copy for IP, copy for destruction. If they're supposed to do the IP and lab kits on their own. If they're sending them back to the sponsor, you don't need the SOP for that. Okay. All right. Um, also, you're going to do like investigation of product accountability right here. Okay. If it wasn't done properly throughout the study, you're going to have to make sure everything matches on the master log, master IP log. Mm -hmm. 
versus this individual subject logs. Did okay. you see this master log and the subject logs? Mm -mm. Yeah, see, if this was a real close up visit, you would have to like count all that. Okay. It would take you like five hours, maybe six, mm -hmm. maybe longer if there was a lot of things that were not done prior to your close out. Yeah, the man, well, that means you're doing it all that day. And I, we've had monitors that ha are so behind on this that have the coordinator help them the whole day just to do the IP accountability. Okay. The IP um, numbers, are they going to be in each subject's folder or? They the could general? be. So there should be a master IP log, okay. master IP accountability. You get that in the reg binder. Sometimes you'll have that in the IWRS, okay. but they should be in the reg binder as well. And then an individual subject IP accountability in the subject binder, okay. each subject source. Okay. And you gotta make sure everything matches up. And then ECG machine, if the sponsor uh, provided an ECG machine or any other equipment, mm -hmm. they have to return it. Okay, so sometimes the CRA is boxing it back, or other times it's just the action item. Okay. Make sure you return your equipment. Usually it's ECG or a different kind of equipment. Okay. Like blood pressure. If if they provided it, they will ask for it back. Okay. Um, what else did you find? Those are like the those are like the big things. I'm actually doing a closeout visit next month for uh, as a monitor. Okay. So that'll be interesting. But this is, I've been on many closeout visits as a site. Okay. Those are usually the big stuff that they're, they're looking for. And then you send the follow up letter, all right, with any, just like, you don't have to do it now because it's closed out already, but mm -hmm. you'll, you would send a follow up letter for close out. After, after you do your close out. Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes there's still action items oh. left. Yeah. Right, so the sponsor can't officially close them out. Even if the IRB closed them out, mm -hmm. the sponsor can't until the action items are completed. Then they do the data lock. Yeah, the data lock's done already by this point, usually. Okay. Okay. Usually it's done already. It's just yeah. a matter of closing everything out. Okay. But sometimes the sponsor will hold a percentage of the budget mm -hmm. till the end to make sure that all the stuff is done. Before paying before paying it's called a hold back amount okay uh but it's not close up is not that complicated mm -hmm. it's just like siv but backwards and you don't need to worry about training um tie up any loose ends mm -hmm. like let's say somebody's missing let's say there's like six sub eyes mm -hmm. or six people on the delegation log mm -hmm. and only five of them trained have documented training of protocol version 5. Okay, and let's say that's the most recent version we're on. Mm -hmm. So the site can either train that staff just so it's complete, the mm -hmm. training log, mm -hmm. or they can write a note to file. This person was trained, but it was not documented. There's no need to train them now. The study's over, something like that. Depends on their SOPs. Okay. All right, but usually the sites will just complete it, just train them, and okay. just to have it there in case the auditor Come comes in and sees. But even then, you'll need a note to file to explain why it was done later. Okay. So a note to file is still gonna like you're gonna be doing a lot of not you, but the site will be doing a lot of note to files that close out if there's a lot of loose yes. ends that need to be tied because note to files kind of help clarify those things. Well, that's the big that's the big stuff the ip all the equipment the delegation log end date irb closeout closeout acknowledgement closeout letter make sure all sa is resolved a is resolved make sure deviations are um make sure all deviations have been reported okay. to sponsor an irb i think that's in the report too mm -hmm. What else in the report? There's some more stuff. What is site status report? Site where? Site status report. Where do you see that? Uh, site status. It could either mean about screening or it could mean about the uh, IRB. Mm -hmm. I'll have 
to look for it. It's either about those two things. It's either about enrollment. It should be none. It's close out. Or it could be about the IRB. Like, what's the status of the site as far as the IRB is concerned? Okay. What else? Which one was easier to do? Close out or uh, IMV? Um, IMV. Easier? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Why? Because I guess it's because it's like I'm following the steps and I know what's it's easier. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, let's turn the camera off and do some a uh, little bit of interview prep. Okay. Or more like a CV defense. But mm -hmm. anything else for this closeout? Mm -mm.